I ran down to Sephora. I was like, do you guys have this? Do you have this? It's a magnetic mask. Welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's Try It Tuesday, I'm going to try a magnetic mask. This is a new mask by Dr. Brandt. It's called the Magnetite Age Defier. It is a magnet-powered, age-defying mask that creates magnetic attraction that visibly energizes skin so it appears smooth, firm, and more youthful. It comes in a big whopper of a package. This was $75. There's three ounces in here and it says that it's going to dramatically transform the look of your skin by harnessing the power of attraction. The magnetic properties of the iron-based formula helps reduce signs of aging skin and lifts away the look of stressed skin. Look magnetically youthful and energized. So it was really the stressed skin thing that got me interested in this and of course that it has actual metal shavings in the formula, like there is metal in there. I don't even know what metal could possibly do for your skin so when I saw this, I was like, yay, relieve my stress. So I used it this morning. So let's go back in time. Of course, you know, I took the before and the after footage. While it's sitting on my face, I'll tell you more about the ingredients and what I could find out about the science behind magnets and iron shavings in your skincare. I just washed my face. I'm going to work out in a couple of minutes. As soon as we finish with this, let me see what the instructions say. It says, using the spatula, Spread a thin layer over clean face, avoiding the eye area. Leave on 5 to 10 minutes. Wrap magnet with a tissue. Glide over face near the surface of the skin until the mask has been removed completely. Tissue off any leftover traces on fingertips. Massage the remaining product to infuse ingredients into the skin. Just feel like I want to touch it. It feels like a very lightweight, whipped up texture. Feels very smooth going on. I don't feel any grains in there. The smell is very spa-like, very um, citrus, aromatic. Applying this with the spatula is time consuming, I gotta say, and quite cumbersome. Where it's supposed to firm. I want it down here on my jawline, right? Okay, really, I can't stand the spatula anymore. Okay, I've got the mask on, um, and I also have it all over my fingers. This is probably why they tell you not to use your fingers with it, and it also says not to use it with water, so I guess you wouldn't want to wash that off, although I'm kind of curious to see what would happen with water. So the reason they say not to use it with water is because it's completely waterproof. <laughs> I ran this under my sink faucet for like a couple of seconds, and like it didn't budge. It does wipe off very easily with a tissue, so that's good. I haven't looked at the ingredients yet. That just shows you how like jazzed I was about this whole magnetic thing. First ingredient is iron powder. So yes, it has metal in it. Second ingredient is dimethicone, then polysilicone 11. Oh my, there is a lot of silicone in here. Oh, there's a ceramide, ceramide NG. That's one good um, anti-aging thing, pretty far down on the list. Okay, lavender oil, thus the beautiful scent. It's got a peptide. It's got a lot of fragrance. If you have a problem with citrus oils in any way, don't use this. There is hardly anything anti-aging in here unless having metal on your face somehow is anti-aging. So let me just do a quick Google search and see what I can find. My little Google search revealed absolutely nothing. Uh, there is nothing out there about having metal on your face. This claims that the metal is going to magnetize somehow and do something. There is zero research, zero studies on metal, magnets, or anything having to do with wrinkles and skin care. So next step is to get the magnet. Oh my god, <laughs> the magnet stuck to my desk. The edge of my desk is metal and it is it's standing up on the end of, edge of my desk. It's so stuck there. Urgh, gotta get it off. Okay, got the magnet. You take the little magnet, you're supposed to double up a tissue and wrap the magnet in it, and then you're just supposed to glide it along the edge of your face to remove this thing. Oh, wow. It really pulled the magnet in and lifted it off. That is pretty cool. All right, so that's just tapping it on there. Let's try dragging it. Oh my gosh. Wow! Holy cow, you guys! It's like being at the car wash and squeegeeing your face! That is the coolest way to remove a mask I have ever tried or done. 
All right, so that is getting clogged up. Try a different side of the magnet. Oh my gosh, it just like magnets right on there. And lifts this stuff right off. It's not like I'm squeegeeing it off, it's being attracted to the magnet. Does my face look any different? Does it look energized? Does it look de-stressed? Now you're supposed to like rub the rest into your face. This basically has left behind a huge thick coating of silicone. Okay, so it's shiny, it's very greasy feeling. Let me just take the after pictures and we'll compare. I am feeling like such a sucker right now that I ran down to the store and plunked down my $75. I mean, aside from it making an amusing video, the firming, the toning, the de-stressing of the skin, I can't say that I saw any of that, unfortunately. And for $75, this should really be like a miracle worker for my skin. It is really, really cool. I gotta say, for a black mask, this was really easy to get off. It would probably make me a lot happier if it had more uh, ingredients in it that would actually do something for my skin. The silicones in here are basically all the same silicones that you will find in any primer. And so, um, ladies, this is just a gimmick. I hate to say it. Um, and so, Dr. Brandt's Magnetite Mask, while a really cool idea and probably the funnest way I have ever removed a face mask, didn't do anything for my skin, so I don't really think it's worth it. So, all right, that's it on the magnetic face mask. So, thanks everybody for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.